HbA1c test is developed as a way to monitor diabetes management. First synthetic human insulin produced. AccuCheck, first accurate way to monitor blood glucose. First insulin pump developed and commercialized by JDRF industry partner Minimed, which was later acquired by Medtronic. Edmonton Protocol developed in Canada, a method of implantation of pancreatic islets for the treatment of T1D, making the liver, rather than the pancreas, the storehouse of insulin, and the first transplant performed at the University of Alberta. JDRF Artificial Pancreas Project launches to speed the development of commercially available, fully automated systems to help people with T1D maintain normal blood glucose levels. The first generation of continuous glucose monitors was approved by the Food and Drug Administration for general use in patients with T1D. Canadian researchers are among the first of two labs to discover that human stem cells can be engineered into islet-like cells, paving the way for clinical trials of stem cell-based therapies for T1D. First in-human stem cell therapy begins for T1D. JDRF-supported company, Viacite, implants stem cell-derived islets in Edmonton, later featured in the documentary, The Human Trial. JDRF T1D Fund established, an impact investment fund that has used a venture philanthropic approach to catalyze over $700 million of private investment in our mission and transform the landscape for curing T1D. Concept. A Canadian-led study funded by CCTN shows CGM use during T1D pregnancy improves neonatal and maternal health outcomes which later prompts a change in clinical guidelines and coverage in select countries. Partnership to defeat diabetes is established between JDRF Canada and the Canadian Institutes of Health Research to support $30 million of innovative T1D research. First hybrid closed loop system approved in Canada. JDRF supported company Cernova starts clinical trials of its cell pouch approach for islet transplantation. Launch of Access for All, our advocacy campaign to improve T1D device coverage, resulting in 12 new and or expanded coverage announcements across Canada to date. JDRF Center of Excellence at UBC launches with a focus on cure research. JDRF-CIHR partnership to defeat diabetes renewed for a further $30 million. JDRF announces a mental health strategy for T1D and subsequently launches multiple initiatives including education, training, and new research. JDRF-supported company Zucara Therapeutics starts clinical trials of ZT01, a drug designed to prevent hypoglycemia. Automatic Qualification for the Disability Tax Credit for People with T1D T-Zield, a drug shown in 2019 to delay the onset of T1D in at-risk individuals aged 8 plus for an average of 3 years, becomes the first FDA-approved disease-modifying therapy for T1D. Launch of the Global T1D Index a simulation tool that measures and maps the human and public health impact of T1D around the world. The index provides the first ever comprehensive global picture of T1D. Launch of CanScreen T1D, a national diabetes screening research consortium funded by JDRF and CIHR that explores key questions about the feasibility and acceptability of general population screening for early stage T1D in Canada.